This European Cricket Network event is proudly brought to you by HCL Software and Paramatch. Here we go. Kumara facing the first ball. And Raymond is just going to leave a low full toss hanging that's going to get uh, struck away for four. This is a really good shot by Kumara because it's not that easy to uh, hit these low full tosses. All right, he's cleaned them up. Well, right after hitting a boundary, he departs. And Raymond does him with the slower ball. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. Oh, nice one. Just takes the pace off that. I think there's a little bit of an off cutter as well over there. And it goes on to crash onto the stumps of Kumara. Very short innings for him. Plays one beautiful looking shot. And then right after that, he gets completely bamboozled and he departs. Knight Riders, four for one. Has he got a hold of this? Yes, he has. Sarker finally goes all the way. Been trying to slog a few only this morning. And this time around, he finally connects with one. Oh, struck straight down the ground. This is coming into the commentary position. Chance for me to do a little bit of fielding as well. He's straying down the leg side here, Rahman, and he's going to get punished by Sarkar. Right at the top of the order, getting the Tigers off to a great start. Then uh, Juman just adding the finishing touch right at the end. This is uh, one that Sarkar has got a hold of, and it's going to go all the way. It's a huge six. Straight down the ground. This is a great hit. This is going to go all the way. An enormous strike by Sarkar. This one deposited into those olive groves. Overpitched in the slot. He's got an incredible bottom hand, and he elevates it away for a six. This is struck firmly, and this is struck for six. This is belted, hammered away, and that's what happens if you, if, if you can just connect on these deliveries. You know he's going to hit it for a six. Does this have enough to go to the rope for a four? Yes, it does, and there we go. That's what Sir Kerr is capable of doing. Bit of width on offer. Hussein, the captain, will uh, get in on the fun as well. Strikes that away for four. Inside edge. Oh, and that is a, that is a howler. That is a bit of a howler. Last ball of the over is struck out towards long on, and then it just skids on. So this is a very unlucky for the fielder. You know, we talk about the old Tortuga bounce. Hit out towards uh, third man. I'm not sure he was in complete control of that one, Sarker, but he's going to get the boundary. That's the first runs he scored through that region, interestingly enough. And yeah, you can just see he's trying to slash one in uh, front of point, gets the top edge, goes away for a four, brings up the half century. Well batted by Sarker. Can't play out this many dot balls in T10 cricket. This one is struck down the ground, and that's what he's capable of doing when he connects. If you just have a look at the over by over comparison here, which I'm uh, currently examining, this one is, I think it's just landed in front of the rope, and the umpire agrees. You know, Straying down the leg side, hits that away for four, and it goes through the goal post for the first goal. Could count that up during this uh, innings break. As there he is, he's cleaned up, Sarkar. Khalid goes full and straight. You miss, I hit. That's the end of a very fine innings for Sarkar, who uh, scored the vast majority of runs for his side. 68 of the 103 they have. And, and he, well, he sends it straight to the fielder and lock on. And you talk about a commentator's curse. Well, I look really silly right now, don't I? Calling for Iftikhar Jaman to open the batting. Gets caught on the very first one. I guess he just has to go for it in the end, really, doesn't he? And, uh, well, it's hard for him to make an impact. This is uh, nicely played. Uh, the irony was there was a shot of well bowled right before that ball was delivered. And it gets sent clear of the boundary rope for a six. So the Knight Riders end in style. 
still a little bit below par with their score, 112. You'd still feel that the uh, Marcor Cricket Club would back themselves to go on and take this one. And they're going with Iftikhar Jaman by the looks of it right from the get-go. So, yeah, this is a good move. I like it. You know, I, I obviously wanted to see him batting right at the top of the order as well, but well, he's a player who's been here a number of times. And they're going to have him bowl this first over. Get a wicket here of uh, Shazad or Zishan Ahmed. He put his side in a very, very good position considering how well uh, this uh, top order fared for Marquardt. In the previous match, of course, it will help helped quite a bit by a lot of dropped catches by Sherif Punjab. Here we go. First ball. It's a struck hard towards extra cover for a six. It's a terrific hit here by Shazad Ahmed. Comes down the wicket. Full control of that shot. Hits it a long, long way. Six runs to start this innings for Markor. British forces. Cypress, this one is chopped on. And it's going to be the end for him. A little bit unlucky, you have to say, for Ahmed. But Anwar Hussein gets the first wicket of this series for his club. And a big congratulations to the Knight Riders. That's the first ever ECS wicket for this team. A little bit short. You never think that you get a clean bowl at that kind of a length. But it's just bottom edge onto his stumps. And goodbye. Oh, this is uh, struck out towards his square leg. That's uh, going to be a four. Where is this going to end up? Yep, one bounce away for a four. There were some very loud shouts to catch it. But oh, this one's been chipped up towards mid on, but it goes right through his hands. My goodness, what is happening today with Zishan Ahmed? What is happening? Another opportunity slips right through the fielder at mid on hand. I'm losing count of the amount of catches that have been dropped off his batting. That, that's six. I believe it's six, at least six so far. My goodness, what rituals did he commit before uh, coming to the ground today? That might be a four, mind you. What a hit, incredible hit. It's a rough introduction. It's a baptism by fire to start off for Rocky Hassan. Oh, this is uh, not the best delivery, straying onto the pads. Oh, what a hit. And it's taken. Well, they hold on to one at last year, the Knight Riders. And that one was struck so firmly, it was going straight to that fielder at square leg at the rate of knots. And he's actually put himself in a great position there to take it. It was not an easy catch. That's because of how hard it was struck. And wow, well held on to. Really, really well held on to. Oh, that is thwacked. Absolutely hammered. And you can just see the fielder. He wasn't quite sure what it was. He was trying to use his legs in the end. Oh, he's cleaned him up. He's cleaned him up. Great bowling here by Russell. Full and straight at the stumps. Khalid misses. He hits. And Khalid, who, of course, uh, batted superbly at the end against Shere Punjab, will not be able to replicate his heroics here. Great ball. Terrific delivery. Oh, it's full toss. Commentator's curse strikes. One uh, slips out of his hand. Goes away for a four, and it's a free hit. Oh, that goes away. That goes away for a boundary. It goes straight to the scorer's table. That will wake them up. Oh, a little bit of what they did last time uh, they were out here. This one has uh, gone away for a six. Oh, this is struck very firmly. And that is going to clear the fielder out at the boundary. It's another six. And... They just keep hitting these timely boundaries, Mark Hoare. Easy as over for Jawal Mia. This one is going to go for six, and he gets pumped for six. That's how it feels getting hit on live TV. 
for a six. Jawal goes a bit short, hammered away. Terrific strike, Kumar. This looks like it might go for a four as well. But now Markor, well, almost 70% favorites. Oh, and a little bit of good fortune as well. That's not going to help the Knight Riders. Near impossible to get away. And this is just a gorgeous shot. It's beautifully placed by a boss. Now we've seen some terrific power hits. And oh dear. Oh dear. Why did he do that? Why did he do that? Ten balls left. Up in the air. This could be another catching chance. Is it going to go the distance? It does go the distance. He just so effortlessly just needs seven runs of uh, nine balls to take this one. I think they'll uh, knock away these runs. It's going to be quite a chase here for the fielder, but it's going to be a chase in vain. Bowling has certainly been uh, on the money. It's been terrific. Oh, that's going to be a misfield. And what an unfortunate way to end the game. Faizan Shafi looked to attack that ball, but in the end, doesn't take the catch, isn't able to stop the boundary, and Markor win this one. Yet again, a terrific chase for them. Very entertaining match. And yeah, it, it does take a, a pretty nasty bounce for him, a Tortuga bounce. That doesn't help. And then Markor leave the pitch, having picked up another victory. It's two wins and two to start off their campaign aside.